<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. It's June 19th, 2023. Um, I like to give you updates when I can, and I just want to give you another little update today from the last update that I just put out there a few days ago. Uh, first off, I just wanted to remind you that uh, in the first update, I was talking about the community policing finally coming down to the Byward Market here which is going to be really good, but it has not been implemented just yet, so we're waiting on it. And then just before this past weekend, uh, our mayor uh, came on uh, our uh, local news channel and announced that um, their city council was uh, voting on um, getting mental health workers now in working with our police officers as well, which is something that we've been also advocating for down here with the Lower Town Association. And this is good news. We're hopeful, but again, it has not been implemented. So again, we're still having all the, the same problems down here with the screaming at night and the bullying and the fights breaking out constantly and people being harassed down here in different ways. So it's going to be a very interesting program. Uh, apparently, it's going to be a pilot project with the mental health workers for a year. From what we understand, the details haven't been fully given out. So this should be very interesting. Uh, but we are very hopeful that this will uh, come about. And apparently this program is based on uh, another program that's up and running somewhere else and has been fairly successful. So again, we're very hopeful that this will help uh, relieve the problem. Because again, uh, as I've stated before, having been married to a police officer, uh, one of the biggest complaints I've heard from police officers is that uh, uh, the um, government and people expect them to be social workers and they're not trained as social workers. Well, they shouldn't be, have to be social workers or mental health workers at all. They should be doing their job that they were trained for as police officers. So again, we've got our fingers crossed that this is going to be implemented soon. Um, uh, this is really a piece of good news at least and um, the other thing I wanted to update you on it was just briefly that um, uh, there's a couple of really good um, YouTube videos that I'd like to get you people on as well the first one would be homeless in Ottawa it's got uh, a lot of, well, of course advertising as usual but it's got um, a lot of homeless people that have been interviewed over the years um, a lot of some of Quite a few of these people, apparently, that have been interviewed even uh, several years ago are now dead. Julie, um, I let her see the videos as well, and she's identified people that she knew years ago who are now deceased, unfortunately. And um, she's pointed out some who have gone from overdoses and have had the mental health problems. So this is really, really good with the mental health because uh, in one of my videos where they did that takedown, the police did came in and we thought it was a terrorist attack and of course it wasn't it was just a man having a mental breakdown in the middle of the street which i know i put up the video on and describe what were the mental health workers in this case and um so this is really really a good piece of news that i wanted to share at least it's in the works i have told you on the other videos that i knew that there was talks going on behind closed doors so this is one of the newest things that it has come out. Um, so I'd like uh, to put you up on to that uh, video, Homeless in Ottawa, as well as the other video is um, Canada is Dying. And it's another YouTube video that's a must-see. It uh, describes the opioid crisis right across Canada, uh, from Vancouver, Calgary, uh, right through to the, from coast to coast. And um, a lot of it's uh, the stuff that I've been talking to you about and Julie's been talking to you about that we're facing down here. Uh, there's some new things in it that are very interesting where these so-called safe drugs are not safe drugs. So they explain it very well in the video. Um, the other thing is that um, our Alberta Premier is thinking out of the box. Um, she's trying a new program where she's building facilities in the province for addictions. And um, instead of like 60 or 90 days, whatever it is, to go, to go in for addiction treatment, she's going to have them housed for a year in these facilities. And I presume she's going to try and have some kind of a, um, 
uh, apartments or whatever affordable housing available at the end of it so that they can get them out this way and to avoid going back into the shelters and back on the drugs again so everyone's kind of looking at that i'm looking forward to i uh, hopefully we get an update on how they're doing out in alberta so it's just a short video that i wanted to give you today just a brief update on things as i said when i got updates i'd give you an update so today it's just a brief update and thank you again for listening i think it's very good that we are able to communicate with youtube and all the communication devices that we had today so hopefully everybody gets on to it and i know i have quite a few people as well coming in from viewers from the states who have the opioid uh, crisis just as well probably a lot worse because than we do because of the population is far bigger but being good neighbors it's nice to be able to share information back and forth so i'm hoping that you people can get on to it onto these youtube channels as well and see what we're doing and i hope uh, you can put uh, youtube videos out on what you're doing down in the states and share this information with us as good neighbors should and we can perhaps put our heads together and come up with this uh, solid solutions to these problems after all we are the, supposed to be the smartest uh, mammal or animal on the planet and we should be able to solve things in, in a civilized manner and in a humane main manner certainly so again thank you very much for listening and we will talk to you again soon and have a nice day and take care bye bye